What's going on, Bully fam? It's your boy, the educator, scientist, master whelper over here, the other mad scientist, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hats. You know, we on a we on a little bit of a drive right now. Uh, just picked up double muscle line ant. For you guys that don't know, this is my partner right here. You know, uh, he, we do. You know, we collaborate on breedings together. You know, we got mentored at the same time by the same person. All that. So, you know, you may not see him as much. Hopefully, we can get him on camera more. But uh, yeah, he's definitely uh, he's behind the scenes and, and got just as much knowledge as I do. So make sure you guys also follow him on Instagram and uh, Facebook. But anyway, so yeah, so like we was talking about a little tips and tricks that you can use for whelping, you know, because we always whelp our own litters. You know, we don't we don't have a whelper whelp our, our puppies. So with that being said, like with this litter, and I really wanted to touch on that, bro, was the serum. That shit was crazy, bro. I was I was on somebody's live the other day and we were talking about that shit. I don't know if you saw. But, yo. Now, all right, since you've been dealing more with this litter, what can you say has this, and, and to backtrack guys, so what we're talking about is, cause a lot of these dogs get, C I mean, you should make sure all your puppies, puppies, all your females are getting C-sections. If you breed bullies, especially exotic bullies, you gotta be getting C-sections. It's almost unethical not to get a C-section. So with that being said, these females get a little bit of a harder time starting off producing the milk and in the first 48 hours you need that colostrum so what we yeah so we started looking at studies and things like that and we learned that you can take the serum from drawing the blood spitting it down and get that serum and, and, and serving that to the puppies within the first 48 hours so now since you've been dealing with the puppies more and i've seen it and i haven't even been around them like that what have you noticed difference wise right out the gate it's just that everything, everything down to just like strength, um, energy, you know, um, and them just, you know, just being more and more lively, you know what I mean? And yeah. Just growing at a faster rate. I can't believe it. Like, he sent me the weights of these puppies, and they're like damn near like double the weight that other litters have been. So that shit blew me away when he told me that. Because we always, you know, we notate. The, the weight of the puppies and we also can go and look back at past litters and see what they weighed and things like that that's crazy man you know so i haven't done a lot of the studying on it like as far as the exact you know if the, the serum you know what anybody's exactly it is that they're receiving but it's 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 almost like it's it's definitely the cure to, to fading puppy syndrome yeah. Definitely. Yeah, like if you got puppies that are gonna fade on, are fading on you, or are a little sickly, give them some serum. And, and some places actually sell it. But um, I, mean, I would, I, I think that would even help with just you know puppies that are just born like premature. Yeah, I think it gives them a good head start, right? Yeah, premature puppies for sure. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. The first forty-eight hours is the only time you can give it to them orally, though. Um, what are some other tips and tricks? Like, uh, I know you were saying like you you've been liking feet or tube feeding more. Like, like yeah. why is that? Um, tube feeding to me, um, for my preference, I just like it just because it's um, one, it's 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 you don't have to like if you have to bottle feed if you you know if you don't have to um, if your female isn't um, you know whatever the situation is if she's not producing milk. Or whatever, yeah. Um, you know, either you're bottle feeding or you're tube feeding. Um, with the bottle feeding, you know, you also you always have to worry about, um, you know, the, the puppies aspirating and stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, that's just one thing. Two, you know, um, with the with the tube feeding, you know, I'm making sure, you know, I'm more thorough as far as making sure that they're getting the 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 proper amount yeah, of milk, yeah, know, and the, and everybody's eating, you know, yeah. versus with and the it's bottle. faster, yeah, it's, it's faster, it's, it's faster too, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they're not really burning as much, you know, yeah. energy and stuff like that. Yo, tell them about the new thing that we've been doing as far as the heat source goes. Oh, That's yeah. just game changer, right? The, the heat source is 
key. That's key too. You know what I mean? That's I definitely see a diff, uh, you know a big difference as far as um, the heat sources. You see, you know, um, we use a, a, a heating pad, heating pad versus um, a heating lamp. The heating pad, it's 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 not it's not um how do you say it's not um it's not hot air. So for the puppies, it's more comfortable because you know they they usually cuddled up with their mom or getting their getting their heat source from their mother naturally but the heating pad with with the heating pad is just um it's more it's more of like a natural you know it's more of a natural um like heating source you know as far as you know after it helps them digest you know they don't have to really um like regulate their body temperature as much like that versus with the with the with the um heating light the heating lamp what source I, of heat yeah because I, mean? I even noticed too with this like with like the litters for example when you got a heating lamp the they'll, the puppies will have their bellies face up so right. that it's like they're because they're, they're trying to warm their stomachs for digestion and shit like that but when you got a heating pad like they'll keep their bellies face down and like like we were saying like i don't like the heat lamps because of the fact that it heats the air and it dries them out so yeah, so I mean, I think the heating pad is definitely gonna be the new wave. I think that's gonna be in all our incubators. And um, yeah, like it's definitely, it's definitely game changer. But I mean, that's just, just a quick bully rant, guys. You know, if you guys wanna see more of this with Double Muscle Line Ant, drop a comment. We actually just got to my house now. So um, we're gonna be snapping some pictures of Capri Sun. Uh, you know, do some more Breeders Hack episodes, tube feeding, all that shit. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.